guys and welcome back here to Born Beautiful here with Amy. If you are new, make sure you take a second, click the subscribe button that you will find right down below. It's free, it's a pretty color, and it takes two seconds, so go ahead and do it right now. And if it's not your first time here, welcome back. I highly, highly appreciate every single one of you guys. So as you guys have seen by the title of this video, today we're going to be going over our June Glam bag. Yes, our Ipsy bag is here yet again another month. And I am excited about these products. I've opened them, I've unbagged it, and like now what I really want to do is test it out. So since I did open it, I know what I kind of needed to do on my face and what I didn't. So whatever makeup is missing right now, it's because it's in our Ipsy bag and we're going to be testing it out. This is the bag for the May of June. This is a $10 subscription bag for every month and it's really, really amazing. I honestly love the subscription bag a lot. Now, at the beginning, you might get products that you don't like, but if you go on and review them monthly, I definitely have seen a difference. I've seen that. I've gotten a lot of products that I actually do like compared to the beginning. So that is a thumbs up for Ipsy. So the first thing that I wanted to play with from this month's bag is this right here. So this right here, guys, is a cheek and lip stain kind of cream. So it is a blush color and it is also a lip product. So I definitely like the size of this. I feel like it's a really, really generous amount that we are getting. And it is a NYX. It is, it is not the most affordable thing at the drugstore. But it definitely is not like crazy expensive either. Like I said, this is C Cocoa Bean. Oh, it's so pretty. I love that it has like a little triangle applicator that's really, really common these days and so loved. So first, I'm just going to go ahead and swatch it. Ooh, that is pretty. Look at that. That's, oh my god, that color is so nice. It's like a mauvey kind of color. With like a rose tint. Ooh, it's so pretty. I think that's close enough for you guys to look at every little detail. <laughs> oh my god, it's literally almost my lip color. But more pretty. Or prettier. I feel like there's a scent to this. The applicator makes it really easy not to like get out of the lines. Now I did have to just dip again. And that's how that looks. I definitely feel like in the packaging it looks a little bit more brownie. Oh, it's such a pretty color though. Feels so comfortable. Now I do feel like this is a lip product that could possibly move move a little bit like beyond the lines. I do smell like kind of like a vanilla scent, but also you could kind of smell the chemicals. I want to say so if you like if you're bothered by scents of this one I could definitely smell it a lot but that's just personally me now we're gonna go ahead and use this product maybe apply a little bit more oh, I love it on the lips it definitely is kind of like a satin but still like a little bit towards glossy kind of finish so pretty let's apply that on the cheeks So I feel like with the finger, I did have to dip into a lot of the product. As you can see, I dipped in twice to get kind of like this natural tint. And I do like the color. I just feel like it definitely did need some building up. And I would definitely totally set this with powder. 
because I feel like it almost blends to nothing. So I feel like throughout the day, it'll basically be gone. So now what I'm going to do is I just added some more product. And I'm going to go in with a e.l.f. stipple brush. Or stipple. I think a stipple. Just going to grab some product. You could definitely see the color there. I'm just going to go and stipple it off. See, I definitely think like I need another layer. Even like in the mirror, you notice how sometimes like the light takes a little bit of the color away? No, I definitely feel like you need more, even in person. Maybe if you just like a light wash. There we go. Starting to see it more. pretty it's pretty i definitely do feel like i really had to build it up though but i guess it's better than it being way too pigmented and hard to um blend out this one's definitely a lot easier so now i have my concealer but i haven't set it because i did actually redeem 1000 of my points for this brush right here this is the royal lang nickel moda collection brush this is the multi-purpose powder brush looks like this it's so pretty and it's really so soft mm -hmm. so i'm going to be taking some laura mercier and just gonna tap that in there oh i feel like that the size is perfect mm-hmm I definitely feel like the size is perfect. I love it. So now just to set the kind of cream blush powder that we have. And because I do feel like it needs a little bit more color. Maybe that's just me. This is a perfect one like for every day. But I definitely feel like I need a little bit more. I'm going to use this Essence Satin touch blush in this shade satin love that is so cute it's the number 20 now i love this when i saw it i thought it was so pretty and the pattern check that out check how pretty that is so pretty i'm gonna be using the same brush i did just apply a little bit but i wanted to show you it actually has a lot of kickback so that's like the one negative but it's so pretty i'm just gonna go <laughs> that instantly added color oh my god yes highly recommend this blush so soft buttery and it goes amazing with this one mm -hmm. and this brush oh my god is it a multitasker it does say multi-purpose powder so yes definitely i guess it's not just good for under eyes also good for blush powder because it works beautifully it's like the perfect size i'm living for it i'm also gonna use it to contour a little bit <laughs> definitely a multitasking kind of brush i'm using the cargo swimmables water resistant bronzer i feel like it doesn't have a shade so that's what it's called now this is a bronzer that has shimmer so you might notice that look how bronzy i look already that is pretty Ooh. have i mentioned how in love i am with this brush right now mm -hmm. oh yes look at that contour on those cheekbones i'm impressed with this brush now i know i shouldn't be nose contouring with this but i just wanted a little light and for like the summer days this is beautiful because it glistens thumbs up let's talk about ipsy again because i feel like i totally sidetracked this is the city color cosmetic shimmer pigment shadow oh that is so pretty look at how beautiful that is oh my god let's swatch this Oh my god. Look at that. 
That is so beautiful. So what I'm going to do, since you could tell my eyes are already basically done, I'm going to apply a little bit of this. Oh my god, look at that pigmentation. Just in the inner corners. Ooh, that is pretty. <gasps> that is so nice. Brought you in closer because you need to look at that. Look at that. That's crazy. You see that? That's pigmented. Look. That is so pigmented. It's crazy. It's crazy how good this is. Because City Color is a really, really inexpensive brand. And this is really nice. It's really nice. It's not even like chalky or anything. It goes on so smoothly. Look at that swatch right there. You can see it better, like, right now with the close-up. That is so pretty. It's not chalky at all. And now, oh my god, I had a blush and I totally forgot. Oh my god. This is the Bomb Springs Long Wearing Blush, of course. Of course. Okay, I don't feel like this would have gone with the look, though. I don't know. So, yes, this is in Bomb Spring. This is how it looks. Ooh, what a pretty shade. And that's how that one. It's like a little bit bright pink for my taste. You can see. There you go. You can see it there a lot. Let me add a little bit. I like how these are bigger now compared to the other size we used to get. Oh yeah, that's pigmented. Okay, my highlight is, I mean, my blush is over the top now. So this right here is the bronzer I got. This used to be the size that these came in. But I realized that they started making bigger ones. I guess since so many people complained. Look at this size compared to this size. You could definitely get a brush in here compared to this one. That is amazing. This one actually has 0 0.57 gra grams. Meanwhile, this one right here has 0 0.8 grams. So definitely almost, I want to say almost double. The fourth product that I have in here is from Vazanti. This is called Brighten Up. And it is a enzymatic face rejuvenator. So, oh, that smells good. It smells good. Oh, yes. It definitely does have, like, that scrub texture. Oh, yes. I definitely feel those micro crystals. Oh, guys. This reminds me a lot of Microdermabrasion by Dr. Brandt. Like the texture of it. Yeah. It reminds me of it. Doesn't smell like it at all. Doesn't feel like it. But like the actual texture does. And finally the product with the best packaging I think in this box is this right here. This is the Scone Insanely Intense Tattooed Waterproof Eyeliner in Jet Black. I thought it was gold or bronzy because of the, um, the little cover here and the writing but it's not. Bill. But I mean who doesn't like a black eyeliner? So we're gonna put this to the test. I like the tip. <laughs> That's what she said. I should mention it. It is a felt tip. Really pigmented. Glossy finish. It's not drying down to a matte. I'm like so not used to doing my eyeliner with no tape anymore, but I think I nailed it. <sighs> now let's go to the other side. Oh my god, look how much that's changed my eye shape. It definitely made it smaller.
I think that's good enough, guys. I definitely think that's good enough. I like how black it is. Definitely enjoy the black. Ink. Had to make it thicker. There we go. I feel like they're pretty much even now. I'm going to apply some eyelashes and then come back here for my outro. Okay, guys, so I'm really happy with how the whole look came out with the eyelashes and everything. I did fix the eyeliner because, you know, when you put the eyelashes in the band, it's a little bit thicker than your eyeliner, so you kind of just go over it. I did that. It went on smoothly right over the eyeliner, so it didn't, like, get cracky or anything. So I really, really like it. I like how sharp it is. Like you saw, like, I did it with no tape, and it came out pretty sharp. So I'm really happy about that. It's so black. Like I said, it is glossy though. So depending on you, you might like it or not. And the lip product, I do feel like it doesn't last that long. I like how like glossy it looks right now. But like after talking and talking, like it kind of like decreases a little bit and it just becomes like a satin lip. But it's really, really comfortable. So that's like a plus in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. That's everything that I got in my Ipsy bag this month. Let me know what you got. Let me know if you liked any of the products that I got. And of course, if you have a video of your own, do comment it down below so I could go ahead and check it out. But without further ado, guys, that's everything that I have in today's video. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like it, you want to see more like it. Don't forget to click the subscribe button down below if you want us to be subscribed. And if you like, you can also take a second and press the bell so you can be notified when I post new videos, guys. But without further ado, take a second, go watch one of my previous videos, which I will leave one here, one here. And if you like, you could definitely subscribe by clicking on the circle that you're going to see right here. But without further ado, guys, that's everything I have in this video. Remember, you were born beautiful and makeup just helps glamify us. But without further ado, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye!